Good morning everybody. So today is another day for the morning vlog and I do have a couple things and a couple ideas to share with you. Now first, let's talk about the BLE Beacon V2 with the smart watch thing. So the other day I said I'm going to go ahead and get a cheap smart watch from Banggood. I've been looking around and I found one. It's like 100 bucks. It does look wearable, so that's really, really nice. Um, I really want one that's wearable because I might actually wear it, so uh, that'll be pretty cool. So, a couple things. I'm thinking of doing the V2 of the first drone finder. Well, this guy was working with a patch antenna, which you connect here. If you haven't seen it, it's one of the older videos. Um, and it takes any 3S, 4S, 5S LiPo, you stick it in. It'll boot up and then it'll give you an RSSI through the whole screen. Just a line that once you get close, it'll just go up and down. It was very useful. I did use it. It was pretty awesome, actually. It was very cheap. It's like under 20 bucks. So you get this like plastic box here. I didn't 3D print something because not a lot of people have 3D printers, but you can get these like pro black project boxes for like super cheap. And that's what I used. And if you take a look inside, I used the RX 5808 module here and the Arduino Nano and uh, just a voltage regulator. And that's it. And just a couple wires. And this little screen, this OLED screen, it was super cheap, also like three bucks or something. So I really want to do this, uh, design a PCB for it and sending it to that company that contacted me the other day. And have it done, then you can order it from there. And then just solder these things right on it. However, I'm also thinking of a hybrid version, which, you know, the PCB would also incorporate the HM11 module, which is the BLE Beacon module, the Bluetooth 4.0 module, so it could work with both and maybe use a different screen or something. But I want to try to keep it under 50 bucks, but I want like a proper, proper, proper setup. Because now all we need is basically, you know, since the Arduino has a 3.3 volt output and um, the regulator here is going to be providing for everything. So the regulator will be providing for everything. And then the Arduino has a 3.3 volt regulator, which we don't need to add anything else to the, the module in here. We just add the module somewhere. We'll figure out a space for it. And then I think it'll be really good and very interesting. And I really do miss this guy. I really want to do an updated version because this one was kind of hacked up together, but it really did work awesome, actually. I haven't used it lately, but the only thing that sucks with this kind of is that the battery has to be in the quad because it's receiving off your VTX and the receiver has to be on the same channel. You can edit it, which is really nice through here, uh, just through that receiver module in there. So that's one thing I want to get your feedback on. I really want to do this. Uh, another thing, I'm planning on testing the Spedix IS100 fly tower. It's really nice because it's so, so, so thin. It's a VTX F4 flight controller with OSD and I think 30 amp ESCs, supposedly 30 amp ESCs. Um, it's 20 by 20 stack. And look at this. It's really, really, really thin. This is a VTX F4 flight controller and 4 in 1 ESC. The ESCs look like they have really good filtration for small motors. So I really want to test this. And um, I'm planning on making another drone mesh split sane build. Uh, if you want one, there's just a couple frames left. So you can go ahead and grab them. So yeah, this is an absolute flying beast here. Uh, it's a 3-inch 11XX motor, so 11 mo sized motors, so uh, yeah, 11 stator motors, 11 millimeters. So you can't use like a 1308 or a 1408 or a 12 or something, just 11XX motors. That's the way it's designed. That's the mounting holes for the motors. It does have good motor protection, and it flies absolutely remarkable, which is super awesome. In here, I have the HGLRC stack, the F4 stack with the XM plus radio and that, you know, the older version of the run cam combo is actually in there. Can you see that? So it's really cool. And I've noticed that, uh, what is it? Geb RC kind of made this little design here. If you've seen it, oh, it's a little bit difficult to show you actually. There it is that the little, you know, the little fangs here. So, yeah. So it is a split level, which means the back motors are up top and the front motors are on the bottom here. And uh, the props, I don't remember if they get into the way of the shot, but I, I don't think they do. So it's a really nice little beast here. Total weight like this, around 70 grams, I think, 70-ish grams. So it's really nice. Um, it also supports the channel. So that's something I want to do here. Also, what I'm planning on doing is setting up the motor testing quad to test the new Emacs motors, which are the uh, Emacs RSV2 2306 2400 KV. 
So that's what I'm gonna do because I'm planning on going flying tomorrow. I was gonna go fly today, but I'm just completely, my brain is just in mashed potatoes and like I haven't even done it. I'm, I didn't even prepare anything to go flying yesterday. So that's another thing. Uh, also, yesterday's build, I think it has a bad bearing. Not very good. But I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt and saying that there could be some dirt that got onto the motor. I don't want to take apart the motor. I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to go fly it and see what happens. It made a weird noise a couple times. Mm, I didn't like it, but we will see. That's all I can say. So I'll keep you updated. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I have the Hollybro Copus on the way. It's stuck in customs. Like always, everything's always stuck in customs. Um, everything there's things that are stuck in customs that i don't know from where and they're just gonna end up going back so i have no idea what they are i also do have a sky zone on the way new sky zone from sky zone themselves which is really nice so we're gonna also be testing that and also a jumper uh transmitter the new yellow one uh banggood asked me if i wanted, wanted one for review i said okay send it we'll see what we can do with it if it's really nice if i find it better than the previous ones and it's it deserves some kind of a gimbal mod maybe we could look into it and possibly do that and if you know maybe we can do some latency testing see if it's faster than the qx7 and the horse so uh, that'll be pretty interesting hopefully i get a nirvana oh by the way uh i think banggood agreed to send me another fr sky x Lite because the one that i had was broken but i haven't gotten confirmation i just got a okay now i don't know what the hell the okay was for <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully it's for another one so we can start the goddamn mods because I am really excited for that piece of beauty, hopefully. At the current moment of time, it's a piece of something. That's not beauty. But, you know, and again, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. I think we could say that I possibly burnt it, but I truly, truly do believe, like, 99.9999999% that it wasn't me. But there's still that 0 .0 something one percent that it could have been me, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to complain in that perspective. Uh, I also, we're going to be doing, I think this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to say I finished this video now. I'm going to start with this. Seeing the best way to record this because I've never recorded such thing, I think. If I don't remember. I have. Uh, whether with the phone, because the phone could zoom in like super macro, beautiful shots and have it be focused. My camera will only have one lens. I have two lenses. The other one, I don't know what the hell to use it for. It's absolutely just not useful for me. This one, even this one gives me problems uh, focusing up close. So I might use that or I might use the microscope that I got the other day. But the microscope introduces some kind of video latency or buffer issues, especially when it's connected on USB to OBS recording. So it might miss a very important part because you know i noticed it when i put the let's just say here's the tweezers and then i moved it but the tweezers will stay there and then it will just slowly dissolve away but it also takes an sd card so i might try testing recording from the sd card also and then putting everything together but we'll see how we're going to do this um i still don't know i'm going to test it after we go from here and I think, well, that's really it right now. I'll leave a link to everything down below. You can go ahead and check them out. That'll really support the channel. Uh, even if you don't purchase the same thing, if you just click it right, if you remember, just click it. It'll really help. It'll give me like a couple cents here and there. You can just go buy yourself underwear or something. I don't know what you're going to buy, but yeah, it'll really support the channel. And uh, do thank you for my Patreons. The winnings will be shipped out this month and the announcement of the new winners will be uh, this month also. And as well as the missed winner from last month will be announced. Uh, everything will be announced and shipped and I do thank you guys for the patreon support. It's, it's really helpful actually um, It got me out of a couple tight pickles every a couple times actually so that that really supports the channel quite a bit actually and well I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. I don't want to take much of your time and Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in a couple hours. Peace out